What is going on peeps? It is Aldo and welcome back to another video. If you didn't watch my last vlog, then you wouldn't know that we just made it to San Juan del Sur in Nicaragua and we are so pumped to be here. Now being that today is day one, we have to go make the most out of it. So our plan is to head down to the center of San Juan and firstly visit this market that's really well known, sells really genuine authentic Nicaraguan food and that's what we really want to try. Um, following that we want to check out the famous beach right we want to see what it's all about explore it a little bit we plan on going back a couple more times so today is really just kind of an introduction i don't know if we're going to chill at the beach probably not long um because the third thing is what has us really excited and that's going to visit the christ of the mercy statue or in spanish el cristo de la misericordia which is that famous big attraction in san juan del sur that kind of looks like the statue in rio de janeiro in brazil i haven't been there but I've seen pictures of it and everyone knows about that statue. They're both very similar. I think this one is smaller and I'm pretty sure we have to hike up just like the one up there because it's on the top of a hill, but that's no problem. I'm ready to uh, just attack anything that comes my way today. So let's get into it. I'm really excited. I'm really pumped up to get going. So why wait any longer? Let's go. Hola, mi vida, ¿cómo estamos? Hola. Muy bien. Uh, Mor, te puedo pedir dos platos con carne desmenuzada. Solo te lo ofrezco la carne a la plancha, palapeña y cebollada. Y cebollada. Y... Eh, en tomatada. En tomatada también. Uh, yo creo que en cebollada me suena mejor. En cebollada, ¿las dos? Las dos, sí, exactamente. Okay. ¿Y qué, qué, qué jugos naturales tienen? Tengo limonada, guayaba y cebada. ¿Y las limonadas son un poco dulces, sí? Es con azúcar. Sí, excelente, dos limonadas. Dos limonadas y dos carnes Ajá. en cebolladas. En cebolladas. ¿Te pago ahorita al final o cómo es? Ah, dale, perfecto. Muchas gracias. So we made it to the market and it definitely feels very local here, which is nice. You have a whole bunch of Nicaraguans and you do have a couple um, like tourists. Like there's there's people that look like they're from Europe, I'm not, right? Or America or something like that. But it's mostly locals and it's not that big for most markets. Like. So remember that we, we went to the we went to the market in uh, Buenos Aires in Argentina, and I feel like that one is what two or three times the size of it, or more. It is huge. Not a knock to Nicaragua in this market. It looks really good, and the food all looks like really tasty. But the the size itself is pretty small. But I'm I'm looking forward to this food. It looks delicious. Um, I've seen the plates that people have ordered, and and I'm excited to eat it. And it's also very cheap. So just so you guys know, a dollar in Nicaragua is about 36 to 36 to 37 cordobas. That's about a dollar. And the meal that we ordered, which comes with supposedly rice, beans, salad, I think they said pasta, and the meat that you choose, whether it's chicken, beef, or fish, that's 120 cordobas. So you do the math on it. We'll give you a price breakdown at the end, but like it's very cheap. I mean. You can't get much better than that. And that's because we're eating that local, genuine Nicaraguan food. And just another thing about this market is you feel the heat in here. It is hot. Katie looks like she's overheating. It's, it's very hot. So, I mean, the cheapness of the food comes at a cost, right? But it's still nice. It's a nice environment to be in. I feel like I'm experiencing the genuine culture here. Um, which is what it's all about. So we just got our drinks. Uh, we ordered lemonades and with this heat, I feel like I picked the perfect drink. Let's see what it's about. Yeah, that slaps. That's gas. Nicaraguan lemonade, a oh, big, big thumbs up. If I was to rate this, it's a nine out of 10. This is delicious, so good. So the food is here and it looks pretty good. Look at that. We have a we have some salad on the on this side, some beef with caramelized onions, nice portion of rice, nice portion of beans, a nice tortilla, which I love tortillas, and uh, a nice piece of cheese right here. Got some beef under there. Got some rice, some onions, some salad. Let's see. Mm. 
Yeah, it tastes very similar to Costa Rican cooking for me. I see why we're neighbors. Um, it's a really good meal. I can't lie. For the price, for the price and the value of this meal, the size of the meal, this is a 10 out of 10. No one can fight me on that. It's just too cheap, it's too good, and it's a really good size. Yeah. So we just finished having lunch and it was absolutely delicious. I did the numbers on it to figure out how much it really was in dollars. And it came out to $4 each person. So $8 total for me and Katie. And that is ridiculous if you count the size of the plate. And we also have a, we, we got a drink with that as well, which was a lemonade. $4 a head is ridiculous. I'm gonna have the name of the market down below in the description. So if you guys come here, make sure to check it out. Right now we're on our way to the beach uh, and see what it's all about. We're excited to see it. We finally made it to the famous San Juan del Sur beach. And uh, what I will say is that this beach is quite unique in the fact that there are so many beachfront restaurants and bars and just businesses. You can drink, you can eat and enjoy an amazing view with ships in the water. It's quite unique. And if you look all the way up there is the Christ of the Mercy statue where we are heading right now. People, so below the base of the statue right here, if you look over here, this base is where I'm in right now. It's like this little church. I don't know how to call it. It's like a spiritual worship place. And it is so, so nice. Um, I'm at a loss for words for this place. This is actually really beautiful. Another really cool feature that they have at this statue, at least I think it's cool, is that little thing that you see in the background right over there, which is like, a light projection to the statue and I guess at night the thing lights up I don't know if it works or if it's active um, but that's what it looks like to me because you could see the light box there um, so I really want to see this thing at night I'm assuming it's closed you can't ca climb up this thing at night but you could definitely see it from the town center or the beach Katie so what do you think of this statue it's crazy it's cool yeah those are two good words to describe it I feel like this view just doesn't get old. I'm, don't get me wrong, I, I love admiring the statue. It's absolutely stunning. Just, I, I can't stop looking that way. And the statue's this way. I know that obviously they, they created this with that in mind, but that's just stunning to me. Yeah, the view is very, very beautiful. It's ridiculous up here. Okay, so now that we're here at the Statue of Christ, I want to say something that might get me in a bit of trouble. Not about this statue and not about this place in particular. This place is stunning. Um, but what I want to say is that I think Playa San Juan del Sur might be a little bit overrated. Now, I know a lot of travel vloggers because I've, I've, I've been in your shoes where I've been watching a lot of travel vloggers before I started having this lifestyle and traveling so much. And they would talk about every place like it's made of gold. And to, to be serious, that's how they talk about it. A lot of people, I don't want to mention any names because that's not relevant or important right now. But the reason I'm saying this is because San Juan is talked about like it's a paradise beach, but in all reality, it's not the nicest beach I've been to, to be honest. There's, there's garbage on the all over the sand. It looks like a port beach with all the ships and all the boats. Now, I'm not saying that in a way where I'm trying to bash Nicaragua or San Juan del Sur, because I think you could still come here and absolutely enjoy the beach. There's a lot of great beaches nearby too um, that we still have to check out. All I'm trying to say is that I don't think everyone's quite honest about certain places, maybe because they're scared of getting canceled or because they're scared of, of pissing some people off. But to be quite frank, I'm not. So I'm gonna tell you how it is. I think I've seen way better beaches than San Juan. Do I think it's still a great spot to come and visit? Yes. Do I think it has a lot of culture? Yes. Do I still think that it's a fun place, a party place from what I heard? Yes, absolutely yes. All I'm trying to say is don't listen to everyone online because there be a lot of BS online. 
That's all I'm saying. We just climbed down from the platform where the statue sits, and there's another stunning view. I mean, this place, Nicaragua, just has stunning views everywhere from the looks of it. The mountains here are insane. Um, I wanted to end the video here because what better way than to end a video with a view like this? Um, this video wasn't a, you know, very long, but uh, we wanted to show you kind of the first day in San Juan. Explore a bit, see the beach, um, look at this gorgeous statue and the amazing views up there and eat some great local food. Um, so if you're excited for more San Juan videos, make sure to drop this video a like and leave a comment down below on what you want to see. If you have any recommendations, please let me know. But that's it and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.